Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be exploring what happened to Virgil in The Walking Dead main show. So let's talk about it. Okay, so in this video we're going to be talking about the character Virgil and how he just really just disappeared in Season 11, Episode 4, Blood. You know, he's just never mentioned again, never seen again. So we're going to talk a little bit about Virgil, his part in his role in the show, and then we're going to talk about what I think happened to Virgil. Little was known about Virgil's life before or during the onset of the outbreak, except for his marriage to Lisa and their children, Jasmine and Bobby. After the outbreak, Virgil and his family found a safe spot on Bloodsworth Island, a naval base in Chesapeake Bay. At first, it was quiet and safe, like a little community for survivors. But more people came and soon there wasn't enough food and stuff for everyone. Things got ugly and a fight broke out and someone got killed. Virgil freaked out and locked everyone inside the building, not realizing that his own family was in there too. When he figured it out, it was too late. His family was gone and he blamed himself. He couldn't handle it and went crazy. He ended up locking up his friends so they couldn't leave him either. After a while, Virgil left the island to find supplies, but he got stuck somewhere and he couldn't get back. Ever since then, he's been trying to return to the island, desperate to make things right. Virgil goes to a library to find supplies and comes across a book called The World Before, which he decides to bring to his daughter. When he's there, a guy named Luke gets attacked by walkers and Virgil saves him before quickly leaving. Later, Virgil gets caught by people from Oceanside and he pleads with them, saying he just wants to get back to his family. Rachel gets angry and threatens him for messing with her security system, but Luke defends Virgil for saving him earlier. Michonne shows up ready to question Virgil with her sword drawn, but then walkers show up out of nowhere and Virgil tries to run only to get hurt by Judith and gets tied up to stop him from trying to escape again. That night, Virgil wakes up after getting stitched up and tries to stop Judith from reading the book that he got for his daughter. Michonne arrives to question him and Virgil tells her that he was only looking for supplies and wants to get back home now. When Michonne asks why he saved Luke, Virgil says there's not m much mercy around these days, which triggers a memory for Michonne. Virgil then reveals that he lives with his family on a well-protected island that's hard to find. They strike a deal. Michonne helps Virgil get back to his family in exchange for weapons that he uses against the Whispers. The next day, Michonne gives Virgil his backpack from the library and tells him the weapons will cover what he owes Oceanside. They agree, introduce themselves, shake hands, and sail off towards Virgil's home island. Virgil and Michonne finally reach Bloodsworth Island after a long journey. Virgil complains about being tied up during the whole trip, but Michonne doesn't pay him any attention. He leads her further inland, claiming that both the weapons and his family are there. Along the way, he stops to gather flowers and herbs to make tea, annoying Michonne, who just wants to find the weapons and get back to Alexandria. Michonne asks if they can check the nearby buildings for weapons, but Virgil warns against it, saying that it's infested with dangerous wildlife. As they continue inland, they find an empty camp, and Michonne grows suspicious when she sees no sign of Virgil's family. When Virgil dodges her questions, Michonne threatens him with her sword again, until he admits the truth. His family is dead. Furious at his lies, Michonne demands to find the weapons herself, but Virgil interrupts, revealing that the island is still very dangerous. He explains that a violent group brought a disease to the island, causing his family's death. He asks Michonne to help put, it, put them down, admitting that he's not good at killing walkers because the island is so isolated. Reluctantly, Michonne agrees. They sneak into the overrun building, but Virgil accidentally alerts the walkers. Michonne fights them off while Virgil finds his reanimated family among them leading to an emotional moment. After putting them down, Virgil buries them, and Michonne wants to resume the search immediately, but Virgil warns that it's too late and unsafe to move around in the dark. They agree to wait until the morning. Later, Virgil locks Michonne in a room, claiming he's doing it for her own good. He tells her he wants to help her and reveals that he made her hallucinate with tea made from Jimson wood. Michonne realizes Virgil is struggling like her and pleads with him to let her go, but he refuses, believing he can cure her. When Michonne sobers up, she attacks Virgil, but ultimately relents. Virgil apologizes for his actions. The next day, Michonne discovers there are no weapons on the island. Virgil insists that he never lied about weapons, only about knowing where they might be stored. He offers Michonne other supplies instead. Michonne confronts him about an iPhone engraved with her and Judith's picture. And Virgil explains he found it on a boat washed ashore. Michonne suspects he knows more about Rick's whereabouts, but Virgil denies it. They decide to repair the boat together, but Virgil ultimately chooses to stay on the island with his family, declining Michonne's offer to come along. 
Later on, Virgil leaves his island and arrives in Oceanside, only to find it abandoned. He wanders around the area and finally finds a horse. Sometime later, Virgil, now on horseback, finds a worn-out Connie who has managed to escape the cave and collapse of Alpha's horde and walkers. Later on, Virgil and Connie are running through the woods, fleeing something unknown. Virgil spots a nearby house and suggests they hide there, but Connie insists they keep running. As they sense something approaching, they race to the house and hide inside. Walkers swarm the front door, but they manage to find safety. Inside the house, Virgil reassures Connie that it's empty, but she's not convinced. He suggests she rests since she hasn't slept in days, but Connie worries about the safety of the house and decides to search it again. While exploring, Connie sees wild eyes staring back at her from a medicine cabinet, but Virgil finds nothing when he, when he checks. Virgil suspects Connie is hallucinating and that she needs to rest. Connie refuses and leaves the room, only to be cut off by a feral human. She barricades the door and the feral attacks. Meanwhile, Virgil also faces a feral and fights to defend himself. Connie pounds on the wall to alert Virgil and he realizes it's her. He pulls her through the wall to safety. Injured, Virgil gives Connie his knife and urges her to escape, but she refuses to leave him. They hear more creatures upstairs and decide to fight their way out. Connie covers herself in walker guts to blend in and leads the walkers into the house, distracting the ferals and attacking them. Finally, outside they collapse. But Kelly arrives and saves them by killing the remaining ferals with her slingshot. The sisters are reunited and Virgil and Connie are safe once more. During a big storm after they get back to Alexandria, Connie takes care of Virgil who's hurt and asleep. But when the storm wrecks part of the defense wall of the perimeter and starts a fire that attracts a bunch of walkers, Virgil offers to help fix it with Aaron and Magna. However, the others say no because Virgil is too injured to stand. Instead, Rosita convinces him to stay inside and help keep things safe with her. Later, Virgil talks to Judith and says Michonne would be proud of her. Judith asks if Virgil knows where Michonne went, but he doesn't. Judith wishes her mom was there, and Virgil tells her that Michonne is still with her, especially in how she handles her sword and with her bravery. Walkers show up, and Virgil and Judith take care of them. Virgil shields Judith and Gracie to keep them safe. Later on, as everyone heads upstairs, Judith wants to help Virgil, but he tells her to look after the others. Judith won't leave him alone and helps him upstairs until Diane can take over. And that is the last time that we ever see Virgil. Several months after the storm in Alexandria and following most of the group moving to the Commonwealth, Virgil has not been seen or mentioned in that time frame. Even a year after Pamela's defeat, he's not seen living in the Commonwealth, nor is he seen in Alexandria, leaving him his status unknown. But if you look at how, much, how bad he was injured in his state the last time we saw him, to me, it makes sense that he just he died that night in the storm during the storm. He died from the... All the injuries that he, t he took from the, the ferals because no one ever talks about him again and we never see him again. So like just as far as the story goes, uh, that's what I think happened to Virgil. I just think he passed away. But, you know, who know, who really knows? You know, it could have been the reason we never see him again could have been that the actor moved on to another project. And, you know, he, his role that he would have had moving on would have been too small. And Or maybe the writers just didn't write anything about Virgil and they just meant for us to think that he passed away during the storm. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think happened to Virgil? Does it make sense to you that he passed away um, from his injuries from the ferals? Let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed the video and you'd like to see more content, you can click the box on the left and that will take you to my The Ones Who Live playlist or you can click the box on the right and that will take you to my most recent upload.